Y O U T U B E. YouTube. Very excited about this right here. Yeah, can you see it all right? Yeah. Okay. I love YouTube. Never been able to post much on it until just now. And for those of you that don't know me, let me introduce myself. Just in case things <laughs> That's me there, Jackson Lebsack. And I grew up here, a small town in Northern Oregon that I call Paradise on Earth. It's the spot responsible for turning me into the kid I am today. A kid who loves all kinds of sports, skiing, kiting, surfing, you name it, has a sense for adventure, and in the world of occupation, has a job that is referenced to as a filmmaker. Dick, dude! But you see, it wasn't always like this. It was only about five years ago when I picked up a camera and it changed my life. It quickly became my passion and my calling. And after graduating high school, I went to go study film full-time at Montana State University, where I only lasted six months until I dropped out. Come on, man. After dropping out, I had no clue what I was doing, other than that I wasn't going to let anything stop me from chasing my dream of becoming a filmmaker. Wait, wait, wait a minute. It took about three months of trial and error to get the ball rolling, but once it did, it just didn't stop. I went from working with local businesses to landing a few jobs that allowed me to travel, and by this time, I was honestly pretty content with what I had created. However, when October 2018 rolls around, I was sitting in my room scrolling through social media and I come across this ad published by a company known as Ski.com and they call it the epic dream job. Basically, it was a campaign searching for somebody who would get paid 10 grand to fly around the world and document the whole experience. Bang. But there was a catch. To get the job, they wanted applicants to submit a 60 second video of why they deserve it. And out of over 1,200, only one would take the cake. And that one, I'm honored to say, ended up being myself. And this, this, this was big. This was my major break. The victory went worldwide and published by mainstream media such as Travel and Leisure and covered in news articles all across the US. After that job wrapped up, I really felt as if it was my validation and solidified my place in the industry. From there, I went on to film a documentary in Hawaii where I made connections that led me to become one of the filmers and editors for the world-renowned surfer and YouTuber Jamie O'Brien. Through this job, I've been able to travel the globe and work with the world's best athletes in some of YouTube's most familiar you? faces. You ready? Uh, All of which has led me to currently live on a beach in the middle of Hawaii, which is where we are now. And, and, and it might sound a little confusing, I don't live like on... I don't, I don't live in the sand on the beach. I, I'm very, very lucky to say that. Just yeah, one, one sec. You see, I, I actually live here in this, this, this place, this house on the beach. Very, very grateful. So yes, I'm I'm very very lucky to say that I, I can call this place home. It's an old surf house that's been around for many many years here on the north shore of Oahu, Hawaii. And the only reason I can live here is because of my job. And you probably wouldn't believe me, but this is actually normally right there. But it's it's the middle middle of summer in Hawaii, so that's like trying to ski in the middle of the summer. There's no snow because there's no storms. Uh, storms? Storms. A lot of people don't know it, but waves actually work in a similar way that the snow comes in, right? It, it takes a tsunami or a hurricane or... I don't even know if that's true, actually. It takes storm systems to move off the coast of Japan that then wrap around to the top and hit the North Shore of Oahu and different islands, different places in the world get different waves at different times of the year. But here in Hawaii on the North Shore, it's generally pretty flat during the middle of the summer. But when the waves do look like this, like I said, it's my job to film Jamie surf it. See, normally Jamie would be like right here, getting what you call barreled, 
which is a dream of mine that I just can't quite figure out, but that's a story for another time. Uh, but yeah, since there's no waves, we're not very busy right now. So I finally have this opportunity to post a little bit more on my YouTube. And, and, and if you don't know who Jamie is, you gotta look into this guy. He's an absolute legend of a person and an absolute legend of an athlete. Made a name for himself in the action sports world of surfing for being more than just surfing. He's a character, uh, people describe him, I describe him as a damn devil. Jackson. Oh, oh, happy birthday. Oh. Thanks, bud. But beyond that, the guy's become a very good friend of mine and I'm very, very, uh, feels cool to say that. You know, I've watched Jamie since I was a young kid with this episode series that they released called Who is J-O-B? And uh, that, that was one of the first webisodes to ever release in the world of action sports, if not the first, uh, and a very, very popular webisode series. And that's how I first got into surfing and started watching. So Jamie's been an idol of mine since I was a young kid. And to work for him now is pretty surreal. But beyond that, working around these guys and being around this environment with Jamie and people like Casey Neistat and Ben Gravy and all these other you know YouTube faces that we've been around, they've really, really inspired me to take, take YouTube with a little more seriousness. I wanna start posting more consistently. I wanna start posting meaningful content and do things that I'm passionate about doing. Hey, it's Mick. <laughs> How you doing, Mick-o? Yeah, I stole it all. Okay, sorry, that, that was Mikko, that's Jamie's dad, and he owns the house. Uh, and he called me, he, ha he asked if I had any wax, because if you watch the vlogs, they call me the wax thief, but I promise I don't, I don't steal any. Anyway, what I was saying, I, I get so many DMs and questions, and I used to have the same questions. How do you become a filmmaker? How do you get paid to travel? How do you stay in expensive villas? How do you, how do you this, how do you that? And yeah! I want to teach people what I learned because I started with no following, I started with no money, I started with no connections, I started just like everybody else and I, I don't even have that big of a following now. It's just, it's just this misinterpretation that you need a following and that you need money and that you need all this stuff to become a filmer. And I want to share with people my insight on the industry and how I've been able to turn this thing into a full-time career and work my dream job. So that's really what this channel is gonna be about. But I also don't wanna limit it to just that. I'm passionate about telling people, hang on. I'm passionate about telling people more than just filmmaking, more than just what I've learned. I, I also really wanna use this as a place to share maybe some vlogs every now and then, gear reviews. Really, I, I'm passionate about a lot of things and I think this is gonna be a great place for me to share that. But for the most part, it's probably gonna be for those maybe young up and coming filmmakers or maybe you're old and wanna get into filming. Age is just a number. But probably the channel's more tailored to teaching people what I've learned. So yeah, let's talk schedule. 9 a.m. Friday, Pacific Standard Time. Oh, that feels good to say. I'm posting weekly from this point on. If you liked this video, first one ever of the weekly series, be sure to drop a like, subscribe so you can tune in, and all that jazz those YouTubers say, because I guess I am one now. But boom, see you Friday. Yeah, I make decisions to glow Ridiculous flow, potential to glow You know, I, I just do that Consolidate my regions, line it up Put them together Anyone that ever let me down Forget them forever My memory's bad Remember me, though? My memory's